He spent his playing days delighting the Essendon faithful with his aerial brilliance. But these days, Paul van der Haar delights families by building them a pool or a spa. You know, it's not a job that I don't enjoy going to every day, even though it's got its hard times but, uh, and difficult. There's still labour involved. But, uh, it's not, I'm, I am the salesman and I am the handover man, but I'm also involved with all the construction as well. Thanks, Mr van der Haar. The trade is in the bomber great's blood with his father one of Victoria's original pool builders after emigrating from the Netherlands. 1958 he started, uh, started doing a few, so school holidays was always um, time with Dad going out working. Um, and it's been a carry on from there where I've learnt the industry and uh, I've continued through running it myself now. That experience has seen him construct hundreds of pools and spas over the years, including some for past and present stars of the game. No, I just done a spa last year for Angus Monfries and um, he gets all the boys around there and uh, says that's good fun and relaxing for him. Over the years I've done uh, you know, pool and spa for Rex Hunt, um, Crackers Keenan, a few of the Carlton guys, Peter McConville, Mickey Conlon and Terry Danaher. And it's not just in business that he meets up with his former teammates. We catch up to a lot of the guys, past players, functions and so forth. And the same, you know, I still play tennis every week and playing with Terry Danaher and Paul Weston started to play with us, which we've picked a good trump card there with him. Brian Wood, Cameron Clayton started it all. Kicks it to the man on the mark, knocked down by Van der Hug. Those bonds were built during a successful era at Windy Hill, where the Bombers played hard on and off the field. Van der Haar attributing much of that success to master coach Kevin Sheedy. And he was fantastic when he came to Essendon and uh, made us all think that, you know, we're, we're, we've got a chance and that's what we, uh, we worked on that basis. And uh, he was hard, but um, he was fair. We'd lost the 83, won the 84 and 85 and lost the 1990. To me, I'm grateful that I had that opportunity in that era to be involved. I was a hard trainer. <laughs> Although he wasn't the most enthusiastic player on the training track, the same couldn't be said for match day. His exploits at centre-half forward, where he earned the nickname the Flying Dutchman. Oh, Van der running rings around Collingwood at the moment. Van der Haar wants it at goal and has put it through. Van der Haar. Oh, oh, couldn't hold that mark. It's tapped on now. Van der Haar goes after the shot at goal. But a bad sort of a kick. It's a goal. What a ripper. But one game in particular stands out. The day he and childhood hero Peter Knights put on a performance to remember at Windy Hill in 1978. Van der Haar, the two points and having a great successful game that day for both of us. We still talk about it, I catch up with Pete occasionally, and uh, it's one of those days. There's some days where the ball just went, kept bouncing the wrong way, but one of those days was a good day. Another game he often gets asked about also involved Hawthorne. By all the No, no, he got me a beauty and that's the way the game was played and I don't see any bad things about it. That's the way the game was. And uh, I was the unfortunate one at the, the wrong end of it. No, I've got no qualms against Dermy for that. So. No, I put a spa in for him and renovated his pool quite a few years ago, so I got him one back. <laughs> Although copping big hits wasn't the hardest part of playing footy during that era, there was days where we'd be playing on a Saturday and I'd be going out spraying a pool on a Saturday morning before the game. Or, but you know, you might be working out in Brighton or Turak or uh, the other side of town and uh, you got half an hour to go, but you had to knock off at four o'clock to, to get to training in time. So you'd have to go all the way back the next day just for another half hour's work. So it was difficult in that, that line. But these days, Van der Haar is happy with his lot in life. Well, my health's still here, so um, that's the important thing. You know, I've got a bad back, but my knee, and uh, you've got all those things. But there's, I always look at life and say there's always somebody worse off, so I'm doing all right. We'll see you later.